Now, what is wax here? It is occurring in the form of layer over the cuticle. Cuticle is present. In many land plants, it is occurring in the form of a layer over the cuticle. It may occur or it may appear in many forms. For example, different plant species may uh, see the occurrence of the wax either in the pointed form or in the granule form or it is in the form of rod shaped or granule form or in stellate type structure. So, depending upon the different plants, you will see the arrangement of the wax layer. So, I will give the examples here with uh, each example you will see the arrangement of wax layer for in brassica it is different, in dianthus it is different, in uh, legumes it is different. So, all that I will give here. Okay. First one is you are having in brassica. and dianthus. Here the in brassica and dianthus you will see the occurrence of the waxy layer in the form of granules and in case of saccharum it is in the form of rod shape. Now in the leaf of tuja a plant whose uh, in the plant name tuja it in its leaf the wax layer is in the form of continuous layer now in case of xylon, the thickness of the wax is The in the plants in this plants like xylon and Copernicia cirifera, the thickness of the wax layer is almost 5 millimeter in thickness. Now, where does this wax appear? It appears in the form of a bloom or a coat over the uh, leaves of all the fruits and many uh, and uh, the this wax occurs as a bloom or coat over the leaves of the fruits and it may prevent the entry of water into the tissue. So, normally it is useful function of wax is useful for the prevention of excess of water or unnecessary water inside the tissue layer and here it plays an important role in providing support prevents it prevents entry of water it provides protection, it provides protection to the leaves, it helps in regulating the temperature and it is also helpful in controlling the intensity of photosynthesis. It also helps in protecting the leaves from excess of sunlight. Yeah. I said it is helpful in controlling the intensity of the photosynthesis in the sense like it will help in uh, photosynthesis. Uh, it controls the intensity of photosynthesis by reflecting the light uh, on the onto the leaves and it protects the plants from excess of sunlight. So, these are the functions of wax layer. It is an outermost, it is a layer which is covering over the cuticle and it occurs in the form of single layer and it may occurs in various forms in various plants like it may occurs in the form of small granules in brassica and dianthus, it may occur in the form of rod shape or in saccharum and in leaves of tuja uh, plant it may occur in the form of continuous layer and in case of xylon and Copernicia serifera, it, the thickness of the wax layer will be 5 millimeters in thickness. What, what are the main functions of waxes? It prevents the excess of entry of unnecessary water, water inside the body and it helps protection to the leaves of the fruits and it is helpful in regulating the temperature, the lowness and the high uh, temperature and it uh, controls the intensity of photosynthesis by reflecting the light onto the leaves and preventing uh, and, pro and it protects it from the excess of sunlight, protects the leaves from the excess sunlight. So, these are the functions of the wax which are present in the epidermal tissue system. So, some plants will show presence of wax also. So, when it is talking in terms of wax, the wax will have this much to be dealt.